might have been here for my video where I finally was able to make my own paints out of pigments I had bought and well in case you haven't um, seen that it's a pretty satisfying video so you can go watch that I'll link it above but yeah I made my own paints and then I decided to try them out on my own because I just wanted to see how they worked and uh, yeah, I made this painting and I don't like it. I obviously was thinking I'm gonna come back to it, but I was at this stage, it's kind of like the ugly stage of the painting, if that makes sense. And I was like, is there any rescuing this? So I'm gonna go back in with my paints. You see me there scraping out some of the old paint that was left in this palette, cause I thought maybe I could resurrect it. I couldn't, um, some of it I could, but yeah. So I'm just using my homemade paints here and I'm also using some white Liquitex and some pink Liquitex and also um, like a sort of turquoise, turquoise, <laughs> turquoise uh, Liquitex paint as well, which I don't really dip into that much I believe. I think I really do actually mostly use the primary colours that I created myself. Obviously I go in in the white every now and then just to pastelize the colors slightly here and there or just tone them down a bit or up even <laughs> My thought for this painting was I wanted to emulate this style of just a really deep dark background and then these plants sitting on a windowsill or just leaning out in the sun just catching the rays and then slowly as the foreground goes back it kind of decreases in saturation and stuff like that and then also I obviously had to include a cat I did a few studies before this in a sketchbook um, and I was like okay I like this study and I like this study so then I thought I would just on the fly combine them on this canvas can we just say that I'm painting on a canvas as well? Did I mention that? I have not painted on a canvas since my Sims video last year. And oh my gosh, it is so intimidating because you're like, even though you can paint over it, it's still intimidating because it's just a little bit more expensive than painting in a sketchbook, just a little bit. That's sarcasm for those uh, Karens in the back. But yeah, um, I went in and I decided to combine on the fly these small sketches that I had done, all these small studies that I had uh, created and it wasn't really working out. I definitely put this jar of the plants way too far in the foreground so there's a weird tangent at the bottom of the painting where the jar is clipping against the bottom of the canvas and it just looks strange, it just looks odd so I had to obviously try and um, shorten the jar a little bit just to try and put it a little bit in place in the context of the piece a little bit better like make the the whole composition a little bit more good I don't know what the word is because I felt like if there was that tangent of it slightly touching the edge but not really it just drew the eye there and it didn't look very good it didn't look very natural so I was still in love with this idea of having a really dark shadow in the background so that's what I wanted to do and then I was thinking it's looking a little bit too green and too blue so I started by adding some flowers um, definitely not sure if these flowers would go with this plant but I was just painting what I thought looked good I think these flowers do go with this leaf um, I don't know the name of either but yeah, I just painted in some flowers, so I'm just putting the base coat down of the pink and then you'll see me go back in with a white to sort of highlight areas of the petals, so just where the light's shining through. And it gives like, not a complete vision of what the flower is, but it just hints at its shape, which is something I'm really enjoying doing, which you can probably tell by this painting that I'm just hinting at shapes and forms. I'm just blocking out colours and light and trying to paint in that way and paint what I see rather than just what I think should be there, if that makes sense. Um, obviously this piece is from my head but also I did have a few different reference photos that I sort of was looking at for the leaves, for the flowers, for the 
the cat not so much kind of made the cat up a little bit in my mind and then like the terracotta pot that you see in the background I was looking at a terracotta pot and just thinking how would it sit what would the shadows be like and it looks very bright right now um, but I do turn that down as we go through I think it looks much nicer when the brightness is coming from these pink flowers the bright green on the leaves and the really saturated light blue in the water pot which I think is my favorite part of the painting is that little water jug and that's really contrasting blues with the deep dark blues in the background I think that works really nicely and I really like this composition I think obviously it needs a little bit of work but for my first piece on a canvas in a long time I think I think it did good kid <laughs> what do you think um you'll obviously see at the end what it in, in 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 its entirety right now i'm just doing out the fine details it was really nice to just sit with some paint and paint something because i feel like it's been a long time since i just sat down and painted and painted something i enjoy and not do digital stuff because i've been freelancing for a few months now and a lot of it has been doing digital work so it was nice to kind of sit down and do this painting or finish this painting I should say fix this painting I guess fix it because when I did create the original painting underneath this one I was like yeah that's it that's done and I knew that I was gonna go back to it like I just had that feeling and I just thought you know what I'm gonna just go with it because I know I can make this look better, I really wanted to make more contrast of the colours. I really wanted to have more interesting shapes, more fluid, more impressionistic colours. Um, definitely wanted to define some of the shapes a little better as well, for instance the jar and these leaves. And just kind of just fix everything up, I guess. I could probably looking at it now as it's done I could probably go back in and fix more things and keep working on it but then I also think I might ruin it because there's that stage of the painting where you're like hmm I could keep going or I could stop now where I like it so I kind of when I finish up I do like where it's at so I'm hoping in the future I'm not like I need to add a bit more here because I feel like it might ruin it but then again that's always the ever-ending problem of an artist is when is this piece finished and overworking which I have definitely done in the past I've definitely overworked images I actually think the last um, video that I had the Liquitex paint pens I think I definitely overworked that piece because as I was editing the video I was like oh it looks really it looks nice there at this point of the video and then I was like speeding along um, the video and just seeing it at the end and being like oh I added too much stuff so I don't know it's just a sketchbook piece that one but I don't know if I'm gonna go back into it and define more areas and things and I think there's always an ugly stage of a painting and you know when it is you're looking at this piece and you're like ew what is this I'm an awful artist that is the ugly stage that's when you continue but if you're looking at the piece and thinking this is quite nice it's quite pretty I like this that's stop it end there <laughs> that's my expert opinion there guys you can uh, keep that tip for free yeah I'm just going in and highlighting these flowers now um, I think it really brings them to life just adding once that pink underneath was dry I think it really adds even though zoomed in you can see that the shapes don't necessarily make that much sense but when you zoom back out um, of the image you can see that your eye is making sense of it somehow like it looks like a flower so I really love when paintings do this it's definitely an impressionistic um, way to do something but I really love that I don't know I can't put it into words I guess why I like that I just like weird blocky shapes of paint with paint colors underneath and layers of it I just really like that I think it's just visually striking and adds a bit of warmth to the image and a bit of, I don't know, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, kind of made myself cringe a bit. So I'm just adding the beautiful highlights to the jar, which I just love that. I love doing stuff like that, just adding the lights at the end. When you've done all the hard work and then you can just add lighting, that's amazing. Even when you do it digitally as well, when you add all those like different layers or levels and different 
Um, yeah, I just, it's just great. It's just the fun bit, I guess. And I really do enjoy the kind of random shapes in the background of this composition, like just on the top left above the cat. Doesn't make any sense that the colors that I've put there, what is that there? Is it a doorway? Is it more plants in the distance? Is it into the house? You don't know, and I like that about it. I like that the viewer of the piece could kind of take away what they want from it. Or maybe everybody who sees this painting will probably see something slightly different. I'm not sure. I like it. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to try and paint more things. And somebody said in my comments of the painting, paint making last time, if I felt more connected to the paints um, because you make them yourself, I definitely think there is something to that. It's something like your craft just connecting you to the paints. I don't know if it's like anything spiritual or anything like that. I just feel like you understand the paints a little bit more because you know, I don't know, I'm talking nonsense, but I, I do feel like I just felt like I didn't want to waste the paint or even though I had to throw a bit out in the beginning of this video, ignore that. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, it's, it's nice to make your own uh, paints. It's nice to do something tactile with your hands and then go and take that and make something out of it that you like. I really like this piece and I hope that you guys like it as well. I'm thinking what I want to do is make this piece my Patreon reward for this month because I really like it. I think it would be a really nice square kind of postcard thing. And I want to cut out um, the pot and the flowers and make like a sticker out of those. So I think that will be my Patreon reward this month. So if you guys like this, then uh, feel free to check out my Patreon down below. But yeah, you can see here the before and after of the image. And yeah, I really like it. I really like the different colors on the cat. I just like the blocky shapes that I've used, the different textures. The layout is quite nice. I just like it. It's very impressionistic very much so something that I'm leaning more and more into and definitely one of my favorite pieces that I've done in a long time to be quite honest with you and uh well let me know what you guys think and uh thanks again to my patrons and everybody who's watched this video especially if you made it this far and uh I'll hopefully see you next time bye